الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبة في الله A question was asked from a person who wants to do Talib al-Ilm and they have saved a large sum of money and they've witnessed many people in their community who have saved small sums of money, went four to six months and returned back to their communities with very little, with very little of the Arabic language and otherwise. So they wanted advice. They saved a large sum of money, a very large sum of honey, money. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them and give them barakah. So they wanted general advice for this large sum of money. So in general, I would say that that is a ni'mah min ni'amillah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala favored you with the tawfiq to be thinking about what you can earn and what it requires to make that sacrifice and you've done so and you spent years to gain money in order to seek knowledge so first and foremost this requires a khlas lillah, sincerity to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. As the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, in ma'amalu bin niyat, verily actions are tied to the intentions. And everyone will get that for which he intended. Therefore, he who migrates for Allah and his messenger, then he is migrated for Allah and his messenger, and he mig migrates to take some woman in marriage or to gain some worldly gain, then they will get that for which he migrated for and this is in Bukhari and Muslim so it shows us the importance of the intention and we've talked about intention countless times and that Talib al-Ilm is Talib al-Jannah as the Salaf used to say seeking knowledge is seeking paradise so you have made an excellent istat dad you've made an excellent preparation for seeking knowledge with the financial preparations so determining whether you are going to make hijrah if you are trying to move from a non-Muslim country to a Muslim country, if that's your intention, then there's nothing wrong with planning and preparing yourself for that journey. And if your plan is to go seek knowledge only and then return back and benefit yourself, your family, and your people, then this is ni'mah and khayr azim as well. So it's up to you to determine what's best for you. You've already taken the financial provisions. I also advise that you go to those places where you're going to study the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi wa Alaihi Wasallam, meaning that you're going to be in a place of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah, that you're not going to study with Ahl al Bid'ah. You're not going to go study the Ashari Creed, the Maturidiya Creed. Uh, Sufism and mysticism, which is ghayra mashroor, meaning mysticism, which is not coming from evidence from the book and the sunnah, or not coming from in accordance with the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam. So that's my advice. Also, that as a second piece of advice, that you make sure you're going to study in the places of the sunnah, and that you are wise with your money, that there's no harm. And I see that there's immense khair that you invest a portion of it in some business, something that can generate income to continue to prolong your stay and your striving to seek knowledge and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a great ni'mah min ni'amillah and do not waste your ni'mah. And it seems that you are a single young man so with this wealth and provisions, obviously, more than likely, you will be confronted with wanting to get married on your journey. So do as much Talib al-Ilm as you can and be patient. 
And if it is time in which you need to marry, then marry. You have ample provisions, but do not be wasteful and spend it on uh, unnecessary things and on people who just want wealth. So be cautious of the potential spouse that you're choosing. Make sure that it's, you aren't running into families that just want to pay off and people who just want wealth and don't have any good for you and are not compatible with your goals of seeking knowledge and coming closer to Eliza or Jill. So be cautious even in that because a lot of times on the path of knowledge, you find that brothers, they begin and then they need to marry quickly and it sometimes can destroy their talib al -ilm. And sometimes it can be in strength if she's compatible and she's on the same path and journey as you in wanting and seeking to draw near to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, Talib al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim wa muslima. Seeking knowledge is a obligation upon every Muslim male and Muslim female. So it shows us that seeking the wajib, the wajib knowledge that this is something ordered by the Prophet and that's why it's wajib. It's an obligation. So seek seeking knowledge and if you find a compatible compatible spouse on that journey, this is Khair Alim. So great Natma. So you've already taken the great the great steps. My advice is to find a suitable place. As I said with Ahl Sunnah in the places that are known for the Sunnah and strive and go forward. I don't know what else I can offer you. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept all of our good, forgive our evil, bless us with a khlas, with a bat, bless the brother on his journey, and bless him to go forward, and bless it to be a comfort and a strength for him to go forward and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be a source of khair and calling to the sunnah. Wa sallallahu wa sallam, ala nabiyyina Muhammad, wa ala alihi wa sahbihi, وسلم <تصفيق>